It's time for Dog Talk Tuesday, where we yes. help you do health from the inside out. I'm your host, Andrea Partee, and this is... Sandra King from Dog Nutrition Naturally. Good morning. Good morning, and here we are. And Today, we're going to talk about probiotics. This is the third in our series. Okay. Of fabulous stuff everyone should know. Yeah. Um, so, so, of course, I can't remember what I was going to say because, you know, I had to rush and get out of the shower and do all that stuff, so... Well, what are probiotics? Well, this is a test. Oh, I'm failing. Yeah. What are probiotics, Sandra? They're bacteria. Uh uh. Yeah. But I thought we're supposed to kill bacteria. Bacteria is bad. No, bacteria is good. Even the ones we think are bad have a purpose. Absolutely. And they need to stay balanced. And if they're not uh, balanced, yeah. We become sick, we have no immune system, and we can't digest our food. Yeah, and um, you know, I think everybody knows these days, it's pretty common knowledge that, you know, in our guts, you know, in our guts, we have about five pounds of bacteria. Right. That's a lot. It is. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, you and I talk about this all the time, but I'm surprised at how many people don't know this. So it's yeah, okay yeah. if we repeat it, because you don't know where everybody else is. No, that's true. I think, but I think thing, you know, this kind of information is becoming more and more out there these days. So, but yeah, I'm quite sure there's a lot of people that don't know that. But also, you know, since this is Dog Talk Tuesday, dogs have bacteria in their guts too, right? Oh, yes, and they need it. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. Yeah, we all do. So, um, you know, some of the reason, you know, because you and I um, are all the time talking to people whose dogs have health problems almost always doesn't really matter what's wrong with the dog um, their 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 microbiome you know they we're always not using that word the right microbiome their guts right yes. are not functioning properly you know so their immune systems are not uh, functioning properly and so one of the ways to help that improve is by using probiotics right Right. Just introducing more, more beneficial bacteria. Right, to see if we can get that balance back and so that the right. whole body starts to work because that's what health from the inside out is all about. That's it's right, and that's where it starts. Getting that natural balance back so that right. it, so the body creates healthier cells and we get better as we go along. It's like yeah. reversing the time clock. Well, yeah, it kind of is. And so, like I say, it doesn't really matter what, what health problem you're talking about. Um, all health, really originates in the gut in the gut so you know one of the the critical things for improving any kind of health problem is by restoring balance in the gut right right okay and one of the ways we do this is by using probiotics of course right right and of course we only use NSP well there's reasons why we use NSP and you know as we're always saying, you know, the reason why we use NSP products is that quality of the product is, is guaranteed for us. And so we don't have to worry about whether or not the bacteria that is contained within those little capsules is active or not, you know? Right. I mean, what's the point in giving it if it's dead, right? Right, and there's a lot of dead stuff out there. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. So, um, so that's, a, that's something that we don't have to worry about. So, you know, when we use Probiotic 11 from Nature Sunshine, for example, um, which contains, it's called Probiotic 11 because it contains 11 different strains of beneficial bacteria because, well, you know, we have many strains of bacteria in our guts, but those are the sort of the top 11. And since we're both mammals, humans and dogs, um, many of those bacterial strains are the same so we can give them to our dogs. Right, and because of the miracle of the microbiome, really, um, once you get some good stuff in there, it starts to rebalance itself, and it, it can does. create... Other strains. Other strains by yeah, what we give right. it. That's right, so, um, so, yeah, so probiotics, one of those absolutely critical things for health, for everybody, and um, you know, these days between one thing and another, because everybody's just, uh, you know, taking so many antibiotics all the time, and you know, it seems like you can't take your dog to the vet without them getting antibiotics for something. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, you have to restore that bacterial balance in the gut, because antibiotics just kill it all. Yeah. Right? It does. 
I mean, think about this. I mean, just you know, the people that are listening to us have this have this talk. You know, the last time your dog was at the vet, did did your dog get some antibiotics? Yeah, I'd be willing to bet they did. Right. right. So. Um, well, so. you know, and and the other thing, I, I don't want to get too deep into this, but I just want to mention that a dog on a high carb diet is also not going to have the right balance of bacteria. Because no. no, because the 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 um, you know because the carbohydrates metabolize the sugar feed the pathogens. Right. <laughs> right. Like they feed the bad yeast. Stuff. Yeah, they feed the bad stuff. So. Um, yeah. So it becomes unnaturally unbalanced, and it yeah, stinks. Yeah, that's right. So. so we work always towards rebalancing, you know, the gut function. Right. Right. And then other things improve. You know, skin things improve. All kinds of things improve if you can do that first. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, now, I really wanted to do, it, it sounds really self-serving, but I wanted to do a little bit about the difference in probiotics because mm -hmm. I, I just want people to understand what they're doing, what they're buying. Okay. And, and of course, I lo we love NSP. And we love NSP because they're, they're tested. But, you know, and, and we talk about that all the time. But the, the thing with probiotics is there's also prebiotics inside the capsules to keep the probiotics alive. Oh, well, you know, the thing about prebiotics is, them. prebiotics, is, I mean, for a, a, just as a simple way to, to describe that, you know, prebiotics are just food for the beneficial bacteria. You know, bacteria are, you know, live microorganisms, so they need to eat something. <laughs> and it's why we keep them in the fridge so they don't die. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We keep them in the fridge so they won't die, but also they need a source of food to live, like everything. Right. 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 So, um, so yeah. So there's some prebiotics in in the probi in the probiotic formulas, and that's the reason why. Right. And the other thing I wanted to mention because I didn't know this for a long time was that when NSP um, fills the capsules, they mm -hmm. actually put more mm -hmm. probiotics and prebiotics than is on the label because well, yeah. they know when they ship it to you, some of them is gonna will die because they're not being kept cool. Yeah, and that's the thing. And so when you when you buy probiotics from the store, for example, you know I'm not saying there aren't some good ones out there, but I sure don't know which ones they are. Uh, but the thing is, you know, when you when you buy probiotics from the store, it may say there's a you know a certain number of billion beneficial bacteria in in the bottle, and that may be true at the time of manufacture, okay? Right. But by the time you actually buy that thing, open the bottle, right, and then they're exposed to air. Half of them are, are dead and gone. Right. Right. Yeah. So don't think just because it says, you know, certain number of billion on the bottle that that's what you're actually getting because those, you know, bacteria are, you know, they're little fragile things, they're little fragile microorganisms, and they die very easily, you know, when exposed to air, for example, right. and just, you know, shelf life. You don't know how long that thing has been sitting on the shelf. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's many things that can affect the the quality of of a probiotic product, you know. Right. So if I'm going to buy that, I want to make sure that there's so much in there <laughs> that by the end of you know the time when my bottle is empty, that I still have the same value in the in the bottle as I had, which was stated at the at you know on the bottle. Does that make Absolutely. sense? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that's that's always something to remember when purchasing probiotics is that even though it says on the bottle that you know there's such and such in there, which was like I say likely likely true at the point of manufacture, but not necessarily true by the time you open the bottle and thereafter. Right, and you have no idea how long it's been sitting on the shelf or where it was in transit or anything like that. The other thing is um, that I see that the store that I go to, I see a lot of probiotics just on the regular shelf with vitamins, and it's like. How how can you sell this? There's no way it's alive. It's not refrigerated. It's not anything. So yeah, you know they've that, jumped that on the, so many companies have jumped on the bad bandwagon that it's it's really unfair to consumers. Well, never mind. That's the way it goes. You know. No, I, mean, I know. I, again, I just want to make people aware. And the only other thing was stuff like yogurt. Oh well, you know. Well, okay. So yogurt is not a food for dogs. It is well, it's not the food for dogs, number one, and and and, and you know these are, <laughs> you know, yogurt as a source of beneficial bacteria to me just makes me laugh. I mean, it's just a marketing gimmick, you know. And that's why I wanted to bring it up because I have people, and 
I have people who, you know, I've worked with that say, oh, well, I don't need them because I'm giving my dog yogurt. And I'm like. Yeah. There's so many reasons why you shouldn't give your dog <laughs> dairy products. But, you know. Right. If but anyway, think, they're not if, alive. And by the way, if it's, um, if it's been pasteurized, well, that just killed them anyway. So, you know, it's pointless. No, yeah, it really just is. So my advice there, without going getting going into a big long tirade about it, is don't waste your money. <laughs> I know it's so funny. You know, back about nine years ago, I used to like really, literally go on a tirade about everything, and now it's like, yeah, well, okay, we should just know, and you know. Yeah, no, that that's right. So there's no um, point. So there's something else you wanted to talk about probiot. Oh, how to take them, right? Yes, and the difference between taking them with food or away from food. Yeah, well, it depends what your purpose is. You know, uh, it, when you when you take uh, probiotics with food, um, they become a source of, of uh, they become a digestive aid. All right, so yes. um, so they just help you um, eat up, you know, digest your food, break it down, you know, all that kind of stuff. When you take probiotics away from food on an empty stomach, they basically just you know by, bypass everything and go straight into the gut, which is where you want them. Right, and that's what I like. Yeah, yeah. So you can use them for either purposes. Both, you know, both purposes are beneficial. But try to think about what is I want. What do I actually want that probiotic to do? You know, do I want it to help me break down my food, or do I want it to help me restore balance in my gut? Right. Right, and and then of course, if it restores balance in the gut, then as time goes on, it will help you digest your food. Absolutely, yeah. So that's my best advice: is you know, right. take them on an empty stomach because you will get maximum benefit that way. They'll improve your uh, the health of your uh, gut microbiome, but they'll also help you digest your food anyway because your food's got to wind up there anyhow, anyhow, and be di and be absorbed from the small intestine. So, right, right. And I will say that <coughs> personally, um, it's like colostrum probiotics. She absolutely loves the taste of them, so I'd rather give them as a treat. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, at well, bedtime, I, I, it's really fun. And, and, you know, and then I can give enzymes <laughs> with the meal mm -hmm. to, you know, help help everything work at the, as good as it, as well as it can, you know. Well, Teddy, Teddy in the morning, it's his, it's his thing. First thing in the morning, after we come back from the walk, right, he gets his probiotics, his enzymes, and his colostrum. Just for my hand. Here you go. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> and if I somehow forget... Which I have been known to do the odd time. He's sitting there looking at me. I was going to ask if he stares or if he does the dance. He I mean, doesn't. I love how if you he doesn't do the dance. My do old dog dance. Jack used to do the dance, but Teddy just gets this look on his face, like, "Ah, uh, I think you forgot something." Yeah. You're not on track, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's Drop walk pills. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so not to fool around, but yeah, probiotics. That's how they work. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. I hope it was enjoyable for everybody else, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. See ya.